Okay, now in this section we will we'll see uh, what is dynamic VLAN. Generally, we don't use dynamic VLANs or address network, but the major difference between the static VLAN and dynamic VLAN is in case of static VLAN, we are going to assign specific port numbers. But whereas in case of dynamic VLAN, we are going to bind the MAC addresses to a specific VLAN. So now in this in this example, like uh, when you if you are using dynamic VLANs, generally it works like this. Like take an example, I got a switch which is connecting to some devices here, and to maintain to to figure out uh, in order to for the dynamic VLAN to work, uh, it's going to work based on the MAC entries. We need to have some external VMPS server, we call it as VMPS server, VLAN membership policy server. And what this server is going to do is, it's going to maintain a database or the mapping information which contains what is the MAC address and that particular MAC address belongs to which VLAN. Now it's going to store some information, let's take an example, I have some devices with the MAC address of this and I also have some VLAN numbers here. So let's say VLAN 20 and then VLAN 30. Now whenever I'm going to connect my device, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm connecting my laptop here and my device MAC address is 2C, something like that. I'm going to connect on one of those switch in the network. Let's say on port number 5, whatever the port number I'm connecting. So whenever you connect your device in the network, it's going to send a request to the VMPS server requesting that I have a device with a MAC address of 2C the switch will extract your MAC address and it is going to send the request to the server saying that I have a device with a MAC address of 2C. Tell me which VLAN should I assign. Now the, now the server VLAN membership policy server which is an external server which is going to maintain or uh, the complete database which is uh, mapped by the administrator. It's going to see that the MAC address 2C belongs to VLAN 30 and it will send back a reply saying that uh, assign this particular port in the VLAN 30 as long as you are connected. Now this port uh, will be assigned to a VLAN 30 as long as this particular user is connected and the next day if the same user is going to connect to some other port again he will be assigned to VLAN 30 automatically uh, that, is, that is how it works. So here it is not working based on the port numbers instead the mapping is done by the device MAC address. Now the good thing about this is it's going to provide the flexibility for the administrator uh, or the users to connect to their own VLANs or own specific uh, VLANs to access their own resources in that VLAN but at the same time it adds some extra overhead for the administrator to manually bind the MAC addresses and you need some external VMPS server to maintain that information and also you need to use some of the high-end switches to support this VMPS feature in built-in that. Now this is something really not practically uh, applicable in the production networks because manually binding the MAC address is something it's not an easy job. But that, that, that's the whole idea of the concept of the dynamic VLANs. It works uh, based on the MAC address, based on the mapping done by the VMPS server instead of uh, binding, now you can see the VLAN membership and then binding the MAC entries. So when you connect, it's going to send the request to the server and the server check the database and check the MAC address and then assign the VLAN uh, automatically. So for the dynamic VLANs, we need to have some VLAN membership policy server to work. That is something mandatory we need to uh, have and the switch will assign the port to that particular VLAN based on the information provided by the VMPS server.